Okay, y'all. Let's get some more light on the subject here. Sorry about the lighting situation. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, you see me a little bit bundled up here because it's cold. And I've got a little bit of a, like I said, that cough thing. Turned out to be a little more than a cough, but not serious, serious. The reason I'm videoing right now, uh, well, <laughs> do you remember how I said Trump versus Acosta, the final battle? Turns out not so much. I found out tonight CNN is actually suing the Trump administration because they kicked poor Jim Acosta off the property and took away his pass. What a wimp. I mean, first of all, everybody knows the, the proper etiquette when it comes to a press conference, okay? First, there's, it starts off like a party and ends off ends up like a uh, class, okay? Trump decides, hey, there's something I want to tell the world. Let's invite some of the news people to come on over to my house, and I'll let them know what I want them to know. And that's the party part. And I don't know how they wound up letting it cost to pass the threshold, because good Lord, everybody knows what Trump thinks, and I mean everybody in the world knows. What Trump thinks of CNN and Acosta. At any rate, he lets them in. He gives a speech. He says, "Are there any questions?" And Acosta, the nerve, the nerve. He jumps up, and he basically asks and answered his own question about the caravan. And what Trump basically said was, "You know, I got it covered." That's not your job to worry about. I got it covered. You don't need to know the details. Now, proper protocol, proper etiquette is the next thing that happens is another reporter gets to ask a question. Not when Jim Acosta's involved. He jumps out with another question about Russia. Well, Trump basically says, I'm not worried about that. And... He's ready to ask, uh, answer another reporter's question. Acosta jumps in the third time. As we know, whole intern thing happened. And uh, Trump finally got fed up, said, put down the mic, sit down, put down the mic. And <sighs> we all know what happened. What I'm saying is, CNN and Jim Acosta are all whiny because Acosta is not allowed to come to the White House anymore for press conferences. When it was absolutely within Donald Trump's right, and I, it, he could have done it, and I wish he would have done it, when Acosta jumped in with that third question, President Trump could have said, Ladies and gentlemen, it seems Mr. Acosta would like to monopolize the press conference tonight. Not only does he want to ask all the questions, he wants to answer them all as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I turn you over to your learned colleague, Mr. Jim Acosta. He will be handling the questions and answer session of this part from now on. And I am going to go. You have a nice evening and walk out the door. And then every one of the reporters and news agencies in that room would have been so mad at CNN and Jim Acosta. Because Acosta doesn't know when to keep his hands to himself and his mouth shut. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about it. I really hope President Trump sees this. So that next time that kind of situation happens... Uh, he actually does that, for one. That would be a blast. Two, I hope that CNN fires Jim Acosta instead of trying to get his press pass back. Because, as I said, one, he put his hand on the intern. You know, he said he didn't. And, and CNN actually cut out completely from the moment the 
the intern came over to get the mic to the point where she squatted down. Completely cut out that she even reached for the mic. Now that is, honest to God, fake news. And CNN, I hope that intern sues CNN for obviously reporting fake news. Every other video has shown, whether it was in slow motion, fast motion, uh, uh, regular time. He put his left hand against her elbow, against her left elbow, and not and put basically pushed hit however you want to put, got her arm out of the way, and then obviously pulled back the mic away from her as he said, "Please, miss," or whatever. But I hope the intern sues Acosta. I hope CNN fires Acosta. I hope that Trump, the next time he has a troublemaker, does what I suggested. And it's been about six minutes, about half the length of my usual videos, and it's getting a little chilly out here. I will let y'all go. Y'all have a good night. And, uh, boy, I hope this Acosta thing is over soon, because I'm so done with him. Good night.